what's going on this is what we got going on today is thursday so right now we have an automated webinar telling you what's going on and then sunday we're going to have a live q a question so both those links will be below for you to know what's going on with the training at ieatfire.com so let's roll off into this video good morning i just got finished reading an article talking about remote work and we've had this conversation before we've had a lot of people talk about remote work signing up to do remote work and most of you want remote work i totally get it uh, that's been my situation for the last 15 years, I've been working at home. I do have an office and there's times that I've employed people that work from that office. But, you know, the beauty of working from home is you create your own little silo. You create your own little situation. And I understand 100% I understand why you want to work from home. I get that. I totally 100% understand that. But here's the thing in this article. Uh, they're talking about they have empirical proof that the amount of work that people are doing working from home is not even close to the amount of work they get out of people who work from an office. This is why working from home, this, you know, going back to 2020, when people were working from home and looking at this whole thing, the thing that people misunderstood, like, you know, 2020, we had the pandemic, people were working from home. Here, here's the prime reason that working from home isn't going to work for a lot of people. Number one, people cannot be accountable to do the work they need to do, even though they have someone else paying them a paycheck. Let me say that again. You cannot count on people to do the work that they need to do, even if someone else is paying them a paycheck. I grew up in a really different part of America. Like, if someone was going to pay you to do work, you did a really good job. You did not have someone actually slacking and not showing up to work and not doing the work. That that didn't that wasn't a thing when I was a kid. Now. You have people who are being paid a salary, benefits, 401ks. They're getting everything. And they still cannot show up and do the work that is required. They have empirical proof. They have proof that the people who are working from home and I'm probably gonna put the article down in the comments so you can check it out yourself. Now, what does this mean for people who wanna get rich? All right, let's just go ahead, have this conversation. If you want to be rich in the United States of America, you gotta do work, you gotta show up. Now, how have I been able to work from home for the last 15 years? I actually work, I actually get things done, I actually show up, I actually do things. And this is showing you why the majority of America will never be rich, will never be rich, will never have certain lines of credit. They will never be part of anything. They will never, never, never never have lines of credit, they will never be situated, they will never be appropriately aligned with 
the skill sets that build wealth. Now, this is just proof positive why the average man, and this is one of the things that consistently get on this YouTube channel. Hey, Glenn, yeah, I hear you, I hear you, but what do you have for the average man? Translation, what do you have that's simple, easy to do, that doesn't require me to work like a slave? You work hard to show up. You, well, what do you got for me, man? What do you got for me, man? What do you got for me, man? And this is one of the things that I'm consistently seeing that people want to get to that easy, comfortable life. Like you've got a rich Uncle Jed who's going to die and leave you all of this money and you could be hanging out on the beach with Big Booty Betty doing your thing, right? This is proof positive why the average person in America will never be rich, close to rich, or claim certain things. Because here's the thing. When you have a job, you have a contract. This employer has contracted you. It's like, hey, I'm going to pay you X amount of dollars for you to do X amount of work. And I want you to work typically eight hours a day, five days a week. That's the informal contract. And when people were put into their own situations where they could work from home and not be under the guise of the people at the employer. Oh yeah. And someone put in there that most of the people who work from home are a uh, project. No, 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 that's not true. There are so many people who are working from home who are not project managers or da data analysts. And you know, there's a class of people such as myself who work from home whenever they want to. And there's a group of people, employees, high charging employees. And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this. I honestly do not think that companies are paying people 200 and 300 and 400 and 500,000 dollars a year to work one hour a day. I honestly don't think that because if a company is disposing that kind of capital to you, you as an employee have to perform and produce. I'm just not going to believe that you can make $200,000 a year working one hour a day unless you own a business. That's I'm, I'm just not buying that. I'm just not buying it. I have friends who make 200, 300, 400, 500,000. And most of my friends who work, who have those type of jobs are working seven days a week. So this whole notion that you could get a $200,000 a year job and work one hour a day, I'm not buying that. That dog doesn't hunt here. But more importantly, you have a contract with your employer to show up to do work. And when people were released out of the offices and they got to work from home, people would call customer service reps, hear their kids crying in the background, hear dogs barking, hear their husband talking, hear someone playing video games. This is why the average person will never be rich because the average person doesn't know how to sit down, concentrate and focus on doing the work. This is one of the things that is happening in these United States of America at the moment. And I find it extremely interesting because there's a YouTube channels that's talking about work, you know, work from home. They're down for the average man to work from home even though the average man is not upholding his end of the contract. And you know, it, it's, it's going to be wild. But like I said earlier, that the remote worker was not going to win. Why? The average American doesn't have $500 cash in their checking account. That's why they're not going to win. They have no money to win. If the average American had like 50,000 or a hundred thousand in checking, that would be a different animal to deal with but the average American is that close to being broke. So the average American is not going to win. The corporations are going to win and wait, wait until this automation and wait till this AI stuff really takes off. We're just getting a taste of it now, just a taste of it now. And this is one of the reasons I'm in mid journey. This is one of the reasons I'm in chat GPT because I am going to use AI to make money in the future. 
So please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And once again, we have a webinar this Sunday at 5 p.m. There's an automated webinar. If that's not enough for you, you can ask me direct questions. And we will be doing that Sunday at 5 p.m. See you guys in the next video. My name is Glendon Cameron, and I'm happy to be here working remote. <laughs> working remote. <laughs>